Hey everyone, and welcome to all the FNAF Help Wanted minigames ranked. Hope you enjoyed this video. Coming in at number 18 in last place is Parts and Service Chica. The reason I put this in last is because the minigame isn't that special. It's like your average parts and service minigame, when in my opinion, the parts and service are not that replayable. Basically, you play them one time and then they're over with and you can't really play them again. And this one just seems to be the least good to me because of how simple and easy it is. Next is number 17, Parts and Service Bonnie. This one is just better than Chica's. It might be a little less scary because of the cockroaches and the way Chica's in a dark room, but it is certainly more fun with tuning his guitar and it's a little bit harder because of the right left eye putting back in and stuff it's just overall a little bit better than chica's coming in at number 16 is parts and service freddy this one is a step up from the two others you know difficulty it's definitely harder than the other two and in funness you know having to avoid the thing that's coming around and then you have to do the music box slow and steady before he gets you I think that is awesome, along with the fact that you get to boop his nose at the end as part of the thing. I think that this one is just better than Bonnie's and Chica's, like, combined. Number 15 is Funtime Freddy. Don't get me wrong, this is a fun mini game. It's just that it, I think it fits good as a placement here. It's more scary and difficult, but it's less fun. That can be a plus for Five Nights at Freddy's, because I think that's what the whole game franchise is for. But... To me, this isn't that unique of a minigame compared to the other Night Terrors, so that's why I put it at this placement. Number 14 is Parts and Service Foxy. I think all the Parts and Service levels should have been like this. A lot harder, and you know, it takes more time. It's actually pretty fun, that's why I placed it above Funtime Freddy. It's less scary and less difficult, probably, but it is more fun, and I see that as a plus, and this is probably the best you know, parts and service level there is. So that's why I put it at the number 14 spot. At number 13 is Plush Trap. Don't, stop, stop getting mad. Stop getting mad and saying I disagree with you because your opinion is invalid. See, Plush Trap is just, you know, it's the same thing from FNAF 4. And everything on this list up from here, Plush Trap and above is like amazing. Like I love it a lot. So, Plus Trap as just number 13, I think just works because of everything so unique above it. It's scary, it's fun, but it's not that difficult. I'd say it's probably the easiest mini game in the entire game, but it is still fun. At number 12, we have Circus Baby. This one, okay, it's scary, it's fun, it's kind of difficult. I say it's, I'd say it's a step up from Plush Trap because, you know, it's a newer thing, Plush Trap, we've just had for a while, but now it's in VR, but this minigame, you're hiding in the closet and you have to manage both sides, you know, the inside of the closet and the outside. Circus Baby coming at you, managing how long you leave the closet closed, opening it and seeing her right there is probably one of my favorite moments of the entire game. So that's why I put it at the number 12 spot. Number 11 is Nightmare On. It's basically Fun Time Freddy but way better. With the tentacle mechanic and the flashlight sort of running out of power, it makes it scary, along with seeing him, you know, creep down the hallway. That is all I've ever wanted from Five Nights at Freddy's, just seeing, you know, the puppet and stuff just moving. It is amazing, like to another level for me. Another thing that's a big plus for this minigame is his voice lines. <sighs> Those are like awesome, like super villain vibes there. So that's why I put it at the number 11 spot. At our number 10 spot is Nightmare Balloon Boy. This is where Plush Trap would have been if this mini game did not exist, but it does. So for my reasoning is that one, he's scarier, two, he is huge, like he is giant. So basically all the reasons I said for Plush Trap, it's a fun mini game. It's not that difficult, but seeing him in the hallway doing his little wave his tongue around and eyes and then just go into like the door, that is that is that is enough for me to put him here. And when you catch him, he's as tall as you, but he's huge. Nightmare Balloon Boy is absolutely massive. Next is the number 9 spot, which I think goes to Funtime Foxy. This is a really fun scary and difficult game mode with him being right in front of you that is terrifying by moving around you know being able the moving mechanic is like really good just seeing him enter the room at the beginning really adds a creepy vibe to me and not being able to use the flash beacon a lot 
and you know just using it and then walking a couple steps and in the darkness and turning it back on and seeing him right in front of you it's really good and at the end of this mini game there's so much tension being like right next to the door but he's right in front of you it's 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 a masterpiece number eight is nightmare fredbear this i think is the best representation of the night terrors game mode because of him he's he's him okay you can see him walking into the room that's freaky his head's on the bed that's freaky you see his giant legs in the closet and him that that's terrifying you see him in the hall coming up if you use the flashlight accidentally he's right there that's terrifying and the uncertainty of going up to the door and seeing his face right there is the uttermost terrifying thing ever I've chickened out in this game mode so many times because it is so scary. This is probably the scariest thing in the entire game, but it's here because it's lacking the fun and it's basically RNG difficulty. Like it could be the easiest thing in the world first try, or it could be what I've had with luck, which is you have to spend a bunch of attempts on it. But that's why I put it at this spot. Number seven is Plush Baby. See, this one is a good example of hard, but fun it's not scary but you know it's like a hide and seek it's more of a challenge which is pretty fun having to memorize all the spots that the plush babies go in and also having to manage your flashlight power it, it's it's a genius idea it's actually really fun and i love spending time in this level i know people have spent a long time trying to beat it and end up raging but at the end of the day it's pretty fun for me so that's why i put it at this spot at number seven coming in at number six is mangle the vent repairs are still up here because they are probably the one of the best game modes in the game i mean you're you're in a claustrophobic space there's something in the vents coming to get you like and you have to solve like puzzles at the same time how can it get scarier you know it's 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 more tense than scary of having to do something without looking at the other places you have to watch that light and just pray she's not coming for you it's 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 awesome that's why i put this thing at number six number five is five nights at freddy's three this is one of the perfect mixes of scary, difficult, and fun. Having to be able to see Springtrap like around you, it is terrifying. Him moving in the vents and stuff, that's like the best animations in the game. And overall, the game is just fun. Like on a PC, regular FNAF 3, that's fun. And you know what? That in VR, that's even more fun. Having to look around, having the phantoms walking around or fo Phantom Foxy waiting there for you, that's awesome. I love that. And that's why it's at the fifth spot on this list. Number four is Pizza Party. I'm going to be doing a separate ranking for the hard modes, but I feel like this is a regular game mode more than, you know, a Night Terrors hard mode. So that's why I put it on this list. This is a great, fun, just maze level of everything combined into one. And I think it doesn't need that much explanation because it's like the final boss of the game and it's it's awesome. There are so many different references and things and glitch trap luring you onto the stage. It's it's amazing. Before we get to the top three list, I just want to say please subscribe and like this video. At the number three spot is Five Nights at Freddy's 2. It's, it's awesome, okay? This is a good mix of fun, scary, and difficult. It's more on the easier side for me. But having to wind the music box and check the vents and stuff, it's just fun. I think it more gets difficult when the withers come in, you know? But that's for the hard mode video. The hardest thing about this game mode is having Toy Freddy stand in the hallway and then come in at any moment, no matter what you're doing. But the best thing about this game mode is just seeing the puppet walk down the hallway. That is just... I love it so much! At number two on this list is Ennard. This is the basically the best in the entire game vent repair with entered like the coolest animatronic puzzles tension scariness fun you being able to burn him at the end in hard mode him coming back and jump scaring you at the end it's perfect it's amazing i just i i i, I praise it it's amazing i love it so much it's just puzzle, you know, it has the perfect mix of every, it drives you through every single emotion in your entire body. Like, oh my gosh. It, confusion, happiness, stress, scared. It is perfect. But there's still a number one spot. It all leads back to Five Nights at Freddy's 1. So, entered, I said it was amazing, you know? But this, this, just seeing the animatronics move next to you, then turn their head at you, and you having to manage your power. FNAF 1 is just this perfect all around 
you know, scary, but also it's more of a power management. You have to manage things while ha- having these killer things coming at you like that is the most it's more stressful than fun but that's what the game was started on and i think it should circle all around back to it and i think that this should be the end of this list i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe and like the video also watch the behind the scenes i made on this i'll also have two more rankings coming out which is going to be the hard modes and then the dlc for this game so be sure to stay tuned by hitting the notification bell goodbye